Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I have my other co-host with me, my good old friend Jolene. Hello. It's nice to have you back for our weekly session of reading a fan fiction. You know, it feels nice. Yep. I feel like we should just do this randomly. <laughs> just... Like outside of Wattpad no, like... Book Club? <laughs> yeah, yeah, outside the club. No, because I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna call you and be like, Jolene, you want to read this book with me? You're like, yeah, sure. Uh, like, what is it? And, I'm and then you're gonna saying... tell me it's SMG, and I'm literally just gonna <laughs> shoot myself in the head. No, no, I just I hear you like disconnect from the call and basically like the. <laughs> so... Yeah. <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, the wheel was spun, and the wheel spun onto Mihawk X Shanks, and if we do this right, we could probably finish this entire book. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. If hopefully, if maybe... we know how to read. Girl, I got this this time. Don't worry. I've been practicing. I literally just had to do lines for Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I have this, all right? <laughs> I, I hope, though. Yeah, me too, honestly. All right, chapter five. We're on chapter five right now, and we have six more, depending on how long they are. We can probably finish this. If not, we can edge you guys and have you guys have to read the last chapter yourselves on your own time. <laughs> God, not edging. It's like, what? You're telling me I can't edge people? <laughs> yes, I am. You're so mean. I I'll edge whoever for the I want. <laughs> Alright. I think uh... we should end that there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the Wattpad book over here. <laughs> Alright, I have a coin. Do you want to be hens or tails? Heads. Alright. It actually is heads. <laughs> I'm very good. It's a shiny quarter. I'm very good at guessing. Mm -hmm. I could have brought a water bottle. Well. Oh, wait. Four days remaining. Oh, what? I have a water. <laughs> yeah, pass me the water. Oh, yeah, no problem. I just like shove it into my monitor and break it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you will. <laughs> uh, terrible. Four days remaining until it's the night of the full moon. Mihawk was slightly anxious, fearing that someone might come at the wrong time to witness his vampire self. It'd be bad if he accidentally killed another person. Another? <laughs> Wait, I don't know why he's, I find that funny. He's, what, he's killed before? <laughs> he's killed before and he'll kill again. Yeah. <laughs> because he couldn't control himself while the curse took place. Mihawk usually woke up unaware of what he's done. Sometimes, he was lucky to find himself lying on the ground with nothing around him. But other times, he woke up covered in blood, with dead corpses of animals and humans around him. It wasn't something people would be happy to see first thing in the morning. At first, he'd vomit at the sight of them. But slowly, he grew, he grew up getting adjusted to the horrible sight. He wasn't exactly the great wasn't exactly the greatest accomplishment, though. Every night, Mihawk's symptoms got worse. He had a chest pain every minute of the night, alongside the sight of- along the slight red glow mark of his mark. He also had a craving of blood more often, causing him to prey on animals that lived on the island. At this point, anyone could clearly tell Mihawk was a vampire. There was no hiding from that. Meanwhile, Shanks was slowly making his way to where Mihawk was. He thought about his decision, about going over, going to him over and over and over. Oh shoot, going to him over and over again. But couldn't fully convince himself that what he was doing was right. Maybe the real reason why Mihawk left was because he wanted privacy. To go away for a while after being around a crowd of people asking to fight him every day. But something in his mind told him that that wasn't it. It was definitely something else, but Shanks was unsure of what it was. Whatever it was, it was making Shanks feel uneasy. For three days, Mihawk spent his time in daylight to familiarize himself with the island. Small, but lively, with varieties of animals and plants. This island was, <laughs> this island was perfect for hiding out during the full moon. There was no sign of civilization, and there was no point in people visiting the island, making it much safer for Mihawk. Still, he didn't know if anyone could come by during his stay, so Mihawk stayed low, hi low hidden under large leaves of a tree in the forest, hiding out, uh, watching out for anything suspicious on the shores. He spent his first three days carefully watching out for himself. 
On the morning of the fourth day, Mihawk walked deep into the center of the forest to get away from the shore as far as possible. The forest was great was a great hiding place with multiple levels of thick leaves blocking out most of the sunlight. Since he had great vision, it wasn't it wasn't a bit ugh god, my font is so goddamn small. Just just increase it, bro. No, it'll lo it'll lose my place. Oh. <laughs> That's like the worst part. Oh wait, I have a Since question. He had great vision. When you when yeah. you read this on your phone, do you have it in light mode or dark mode? Dark mode. Right answer. Uh, I read <laughs> uh Wattpad in dark mode and then AO3 in light mode. Does AO3 even have dark mode? It does. You just have to change your <laughs> format at the bottom. Huh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Am, I, am I good to go? Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if that was, like, your whole question. Yeah, it was my entire question. Because I didn't know that. Because I, I always thought since it was, like, a website, you couldn't do that. Yeah, you can do that. You just gotta go... <laughs> I'll explain it later. Okay. It wasn't really that big... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't really that big of a deal to be in the dark. He just hoped the night would pass like any, like any other night. Jinx saw the faint, faint outline of an outline of an island as he saw the sunset just over the horizon. It was almost nightfall, but he finally made it to where Mihawk was. But what he what would he say to the swordsman when they meet? That he secretly stalked him with the How do you say that word? Beaver. The, beaver? Beaver. Beaver. Yeah, it's like beaver, but instead of saying it with a B, you say it with a V. So Beaver. The beaver card. Yeah. No, that would creep him out. <laughs> Maybe just saying he got bored of the island would do. But, as he got closer and closer to the island, Jinx felt like something was wrong. As if... As if his... As if his brain was in panic mode, warning him that there was something dangerous up ahead. He didn't know what, but he knew that his body wouldn't... Body didn't lie when it came to this kind of stuff. It did save his ass in the past, and it was definitely something he shouldn't be ignoring. But, knowing that Mihawk was on an island was the only reason why he kept going. He had to know what... He had to know what the hell was going on. When he finally landed on the shore, on the shore of the island, the sun was, al was almost gone. I literally, I cannot do it. I can't. <laughs> ah! You can do it. I can't. I need a. I'm an old, old. You You want me to take over reading? No, 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 no. Okay. I just, I just gotta zoom in the font. <laughs> you gotta put on your prescription glasses. <laughs> I, I need a double prescription. <laughs> you put your normal prescription, and then you have reading glasses over them as well. <laughs> I'm gonna get contacts, and I'm gonna put yeah. my regular glasses over it. Yeah. Now you can see double. Doubly double. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I gotta find the thing. There we go. <laughs> There was a reddish glow in the water, indicating that the sun was still there, but it slowly diminished, allowing the moon to show. Following the Weaver card... Weaver... Okay, gotcha. <laughs> My brain doesn't process that word. <laughs> You're doing Jinx great. For... Thank you, thank you, I'm trying my best. Mm. Jinx walks towards the direction of the forest while taking in the surroundings. Why would Mihawk be on an island surrounded by trees and animals like this, instead of being in the city? Well, whatever it was, it was Mihawk's decision, so there was no point in wondering about that anymore. Resuming his search for the swordsman, Jinx walked deeper into the forest. It was extremely dark, since not even the slightest bit of moonlight made it through the thick canopy of the forest. Because of that, Jinx couldn't even see where the fever card was pointing to. He was on the verge of giving up when he heard a scream that sent chills through his body. Mihawk. Jinx began running to the direction of the screaming, not caring about anything in his way. He knew he was, hearing, he was nearing the scream when he saw a dim glow of fire reflecting off the leaves. Running even faster, Jinx ran towards the light. When he arrived, he didn't know what he was looking at. Every inch of his body told him to back off, to run away and to get away from this monster. Mihawk was on the ground with his hand on his chest, screaming in pain. His eyes were glowing in red blood color. In a blood red color, and his teeth displayed a 
deadly set of fangs, capable of ripping out a human throat in a single bite. His body was covered in strange markings, and anyone could have noticed that the previously pale white skin was now a much darker shade of, of tan color. No doubt about it. A vampire. Smash. But even after- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's so real. Anyway. <laughs> God damn. Sink your veins into my neck. <laughs> 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 hey, I feel like I have a uh, rite of passage here. We know when if some some crazy shit's gonna happen. <laughs> I have the right to I say mean, that. I mean, he's not gonna be biting us, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps some red-haired dill. Uh, <laughs> Even after seeing all of that, Shanks refused to back off. Instead, he did what his buddy told him not to do. He ran towards him. Oh, Oi, Mihawk, get a hold of yourself. What the hell's going on? <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny. <laughs> um, Shanks yelled as he shook Mihawk's shoulder, hoping that Mihawk would snap out of it. Mihawk looked in the direction of, of the voice, and when he saw Shanks, his eyes widened. Shanks? What the hell? Mihawk tried to reply, but his pain stopped him. His mark burned brightly on his chest, glowing red and emitting heat. Every minute that passed felt like torture, as he was being held down and forced to sit through while being on a heated iron, while having a heated iron stamp, stamp pressed against him. He screamed in agony, unable to grip the last part of his con grip the last of his consciousness. When Mihawk went limp, Jing panicked. Shit. He couldn't have died, but what the hell's going on? Is that why he felt uneasy on the way here? But that wasn't the time. To, that wasn't the time to worry about that. Instead, he focused back on Mihawk, who slowly began moving once more. But something was wrong. Shanks could feel it. Mihawk's gaze was fixed on Shanks, but he wasn't looking at him as a friend, more like a prey. He bared his fangs as his pupils narrowed into slits, accompanied by the low growl coming from his throat. He growled at us? <laughs> not us, that Shanks. Oh, oh, damn, this is getting spicy. We're, we're, we're not in this. We're in Shanks' head right now, being like, yes, bite us! <laughs> <laughs> I look at we're, the, we're now, we're, we are now Shanks' consciousness. Yeah. I mean, that's how Wait, I feel like. Wait, who's the devil and who's the angel? I feel like I'm the devil, and you're trying to be all good about this, and I'm like, bite us! King, 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 smash! <laughs> I'm just letting you take the wheel. <laughs> you I'm not gonna fight you. Yeah. Oh, th thank you. Jesus, I thought you were gonna say, Jesus, take the wheel. I was you know, like, going you know to. What <laughs> Jesus? <laughs> Jesus, is that you? <laughs> it's just me, behind the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Only a fool would ever dare coming close to a vampire on the night of the full moon, Mihawk said in a low voice. Even his voice sounded different. It was as if he had two separate identities, living inside a single body. And he definitely preferred the not-so-vampire like Mihawk better, especially in this situation. Turn around. Mihawk pinned Shanks down with a- Ooh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was waiting- No, 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 I was waiting for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mihawk and Shanks down with a great force, causing pain to travel through the red-haired man's body. Shit. He'd only seen... He'd <laughs> only seen vampires in books about... Whoa, what was that? What are you giggling I'm about over laughing. there? I, I can only imagine what else is gonna happen in here. Not, nothing nefarious. Never thought he'd see one right in front of him, especially since it was someone he had slight feelings for. Huh? <laughs> He tried to wiggle his way out, but Mihawk had a firm grip on his hands and practically sat on him, preventing any sort of movement. Mihawk grinned at Shanks' attempt at escaping. Foolish mortal, never thought I'd see the fated enemy of my skill so soon. But for him to walk into his own death? How hilarious. Mihawk blurted as he laughed at Shanks. <laughs> Shanks, look, this is your doing! <laughs> no. <laughs> Shanks felt a slight blush on his cheek as he looked away from the vampire, but couldn't help wondering about what he had said. Enemy of my kill? What the hell, it was, what the hell was he talking about? Right, 
you mortals have so little knowledge of the superior race. Every vampire is born with an enemy that is able to resist our temptations, our skills. You happen to be my enemy, Mihawk replied as if Shank asked the question. <clears throat> Clearly he saw the face saw through the face of confusion and answered his question. Well that answers more than one question, but Oh. That answers one question, but he had more listed on his mind. One in particular he wanted answers for was whether or not he could make it out of this island alive. No, I'm but, sorry, buddy. You're gonna have to smash the vampire to get out of here. I wish there was another another choice, but <laughs> <laughs> But his hopes began to fade away when Mihawk's fans fangs completely emerged from his lips. Being killed by a vampire wasn't how Shanks wanted to die, but at this point, there was no doubt he was gonna end up dead by daylight. <gasps> dead by game. daylight? The move the game <laughs> <laughs> You heard it in a movie. <laughs> I had a stroke. <laughs> That's so real. <laughs> he closed his eyes in hopes of drowning out the pain and braced himself, feeling the breath of the swordsman on him. Shank breathed in and out, trying to calm himself, but didn't help his heart help his racing heart beating at the distance of their bodies. <gasps> he felt a horrible pain on his neck as the as the fangs punctured through the skin, slowly feeling his senses fade away. He felt tired tired suddenly, having the urge to sleep. He would have honestly he would have honestly, but something stopped him. Shanks opened his eyes to see that Mihawk was no longer feasting on his blood. Instead, he was leaning on his elbow to the side, coughing up some of the blood. Shanks heard Mihawk mutter something to himself before gazing back at Shanks. Just who the fuck are you? How is this even possible? The Shanks was surprised. Mihawk lost the hostility in his voice. It was as if the not-so-vampire like Mihawk was returning. Shanks was too stunned to say- Too stunned to say- <laughs> The woman but was too stunned really to speak! <laughs> <laughs> but really, it was just surprised he wasn't dead yet. Mihawk rolled over to his side, regaining his posture. He stared at his hands and arms. Seeing the marking slowly fade away. Looking back at Shanks, Mihawk noticed the confused look he had on his face. It was always only those who had a strong potential to be had a potential. Had the potential. I can't the, read. God. The potential. <laughs> I'm sorry. The potential. To become a strong leader cursed with the, this kind of power. We turned into monsters, feared by everyone, including our own. Humans have evolved to combat this monstrosity. There were three types of enemies we feared. Those who could resist our temptation. Those who fought with metal that wor that works against us. And those who had the blood that could stop us from turning. You. You have both the power to resist my temptation and the blood to stop my transformation. Nice. <laughs> Mihawk explained as he said. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's so funny. Uh, he's glided in silence as he tried to take in the information he was given. How the hell did fate work like this? Not only was he a threat to a vampire, but a super strong one like Mihawk? Well, at least he wasn't dead yet, but what the hell should Shanks do knowing all of this? Oh hey there, sorry I got long short, I got lazy, and then you know I got busy with the trip- Did he went to Korea? <laughs> Good for them. Hell yeah. Alright, someone else made a Dead by Daylight joke. Let's go. Nice. All right, chapter six. What now? They have sex. All right, <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> wow, you were. I heard nothing after I said that. No, I'm and sorry. My brain. I, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Probably the ad too loud. How do I mean? Maybe this? it's a good thing you couldn't hear what I said. Because <laughs> no, I feel what like you. you say? No, I read, I read out here, and, and I quote, I said, chapter six, what now? What now? They have sex. That's what they, <laughs> that's what's oh. <laughs> I'm so cool like that. All right. Fuck. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Shing slid on the ground, confused and frustrated, unknowing what to do next. His neck was throbbing with pain, with blood dripping down from the wound. 
Mihawk, on the other hand, sat down near Shanks, unable to lift his gaze up from the ground. Um, so what now? Like, are you still that vampire thingy? Or, like, am I talking to that rude-ass swordsman? Am I, am I still who I am? Oh, I am still who I am. Your blood may calm my temper down. However, this form lasts until the last of the, f of the moonlight fades away. Mihawk replied back quietly without facing the red hair man. Oh, cool. So, like, can you, like, I don't know, make my neck stop bleeding? It would be more beneficial for, for me if I let you die here. However, because another human may be born with the same ability as you, if you, if you have, wait, of you, wait. Being born with the same ability as you have when you die, I'd rather keep you close to me. So was that a yes or a no? Damn. <laughs> Before Shanks has even finished his sentence, Mihawk moved towards him in a flash and sat next to him. Holy shit! <laughs> That's not the only thing you're gonna be saying in that- okay. <laughs> Shanks yelled as he closed his eyes and braced himself for the sword- for a sword through his chest. Instead, he found a more pleasant surprise. He opened his eyes and felt something smooth. Yeah. Oh, is he licking him? <laughs> He's licking him! He's like- Yeah! <laughs> no, yeah. Um, what the fuck are you doing? Alright, saliva contains healing em enzymes that can speed up the process of healing. It's what we have evolved to present the wound from showing. Okay, but you're literally licking my neck like a cat and it's weird. Don't call him weird, he's he's just a little guy. <laughs> and the comment is, shut the fuck up, Jinx, you know you, you like it. <laughs> I could just let you die. But you didn't. Don't get so cocky with me. Well, I can, he can be cocky with you in another way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're going to jail. <laughs> no, you can't throw me in jail. But I am still a hundred times more powerful than you, human. Shanks immediately closed his mouth, hoping that his silence would shelter him from the cold bloody killer. He stared at the sky, watching the stars and the moon shine. With the awkward silence around him, Shanks felt uncomfortable sitting silently next to someone who who could potentially kill him instantly. Deciding that he needed to walk on the beach to calm himself down, Shanks got up, only to make it- only to make it so far before falling down. Dude, how much of my blood did you drink? Dot dot dot! Mihak sat on the ground, refusing to answer him. I thought my blood was bad for you, just how much did you drink? <laughs> yeah, it's bad for me, but your blood comes with a trade-off. In exchange for being able to control my powers, your blood becomes- <laughs> Appetizer. <laughs> How much did you fucking drink, bro? <laughs> Money. All I can imagine is Brat Shanks. <laughs> Brat Boy My Shanks. drink? My, My diet doctor kill? Alpha. <laughs> Not enough to take you down. Maybe enough to make you dizzy. I can't even get up. I have no more energy. Sorry. Mihawk let out a sound that was unfit for someone of size, but hearing Mihawk laugh made Shanks feel happier. It wasn't until a few minutes later that Shanks gave it another go to try to walk, and of course he failed miserably. Seeing how Shanks was trying so hard to walk made Mihawk feel guilty. It was technically his fault that Shanks wasn't able to walk. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> let alone <laughs> sit up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the no. quote that Turkish uh, quoted from me when we read the 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 Vox uh, X reader? Yeah. Oh, I, that shit was funny. So. He quoted two moments directly. One was, mm -hmm. "I'm going to turn out the lights. God can't see what I'm doing." Phoenix about yeah, about yeah, to read almost yeah. smut. And then, we didn't get to read it? This is bullshit! Phoenix upon discovering yep. there's no actual smut. <laughs> I'm like, damn, they really got me in 4K. <laughs> I think I just do it to myself. <laughs> so Mihawk decided that it was only right if Mihawk helped out a little. He walked over to Shanks, and with a swift motion, Mihawk managed to pull up Shanks and place Shanks' arm around his neck to support it. Oh, um, okay then. Can we take a walk around the beach? I want to get some fresh air. 
Me like they're not already outside. <laughs> yeah, you're. Yeah, I understand if they're you inside a the building, air. but <laughs> he wants they're... that ocean air. He wants that crisp salt. Yeah, he he wants to feel the 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 the, the salt in his in his lungs later. <laughs> can I can I give can I say something controversial? Yeah. <gasps> How I don't think. I don't think I feel like Shank doesn't wouldn't use seasoning. Well, he is white, <laughs> so you're on the money, I guess. I, I like how that was your contract. I thought you were about to say some like crazy shit, and I'm gonna have to cut out. No. You're like, I don't think Shank seasons his food. <laughs> he looks like he says salt spicy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Mihawk nodded and slowly helped Shanks around the beach. After a couple minutes of silent walking, Mihawk spoke out an attempt to break this awkward silence around them. So, how are you feeling? Are you feeling any better? I'm fine, though. Although I would have been nice if you could have sucked me a, sucked me less in the neck and more somewhere else. Man, this story this story writes itself. I, <laughs> no, that's so funny because I thought it was like I thought it was gonna end off as. Although it would have been nice if he could have stuck me dry, but in, like, the other way. <laughs> oh, there's no shot. <laughs> Shank's voice faded out as he heard whatever he actually planned to say, hoping that Mihawk didn't hear. But of course, having super hearing can sometimes come with a negative side. Excuse me? Nothing. Nothing at all. You do realize that I heard everything. It's a nice night out right now, isn't it? I'll just pretend that, that f the last few minutes didn't happen. Shanks let out a small laugh. Only because he felt really embarrassed and wanted to do something to get his mind off of what he just said. He felt his cheeks heat up and turn red, so he faded away from Mihawk, hoping that the other man did not see his rosy cheeks. But of course, Mihawk noticed everything. <laughs> the two took a nice stroll on the beach quietly, enjoying the scenery that laid out around them. It wasn't an awkward as awkward as before, since at least not what they were doing. I'll... Since at least not they were doing something. Okay. Enjoying the beautiful night sky with the moonlight reflecting on the water, both Mihawk and Shake silently looked out towards the ocean. Mihawk knew that he had to s somehow keep Shanks close in touch so that others can't find out about his secret, while Shanks knew that his relationship with Mihawk wasn't going to remain as frenemies forever, but whatever was ahead of their time could wait because there's no way Shanks wanted to ruin the moment. After a moment of silence, Shanks spoke out, hoping to get Mihawk's attention. So, what now? What's going to happen after this? Mihawk silently thought to himself. He was frustrated that things didn't exactly go according to plan, but he was happy to at least... He knew who his enemy was, and that he turned out to be somewhat of a nice guy. After pondering the question, Mihawk finally spoke with an answer. We shall see what the future has in store for us. And then next chapter, they have sex. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe. Did you read this ahead of time? I need to know. I, d I did not. <gasps> I'm really surprised. <laughs> Look, I, I don't read things about you. That that's bullshit. You've read a couple of books before, like, ahead of You're like, no, I'm going to no, read no. some spare time. <laughs> I, I joke about reading it. Do I really ever? No. Oh, you don't. I oh. do sometimes while you're reading. I read ahead of you oh. while you're reading. <laughs> Damn, I see, I see. I don't do that. I don't do that anymore, though. I have control. I have <laughs> self control? <laughs> yes. Damn. <laughs> it wasn't long before the sun came. Lighting the path before it was once. where it was once dark. Jinx and Mihawk stayed up. We're gonna fix that. My bad. <laughs> Jake and Mihawk stayed up until the sun peaked from the ocean horizon. Enjoying the scenery, Mihawk eventually returned to its own form. But not without paying the price of being a vampire. After several hours of pain and suffering from his mark of the curse, Mihawk eventually lost to the mark and collapsed on the ground. The red-haired man was there to catch him, but not soon enough to support both their weight. Both men fell down to the ground, but Jenks managed to avoid any harm. Unknowing what to do next, the red-haired man took care of the fallen ones on the island. 
catching animals and gathering water until Mihawk managed to at least open his eyes. It took him a while, but Mihawk managed to muster up the energy to mumble quietly. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault that you were born as a vampire. Looking away from Shane, Mihawk mumbled something quietly that Shane couldn't hear, but assumed he was being apologetic and being ashamed of his own identity. After a moment of silence, Mihawk paid Shanks with a serious look on his face. I know I'm being greedy and selfish, but can I ask you a big favor? Just ask away. Mihawk took a deep breath and then slowly breathed out. I can't let you walk away after knowing everything I've told you. So you're gonna kill me? No, of course not. I'm not some cold-blooded murderer. That's quite the lie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyway, do you mind sticking around with me? I need to keep you close by so I keep an eye on you. I mean, I don't mind, but would I be a bother to you? No. Keeping you close will help reduce the risk of me getting killed by other vampires. Others will try to use you as a weapon against me. As long as I keep you near me, they won't be able to get me. Shakes pondered around that for a moment. He was being used as a hostage in a way to keep him safe, but... What was in it for Shanks himself? To sleep with him? He might be him? targeted it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 so I was like, what is he getting out of this? He has to sleep with a hot vampire. <laughs> 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 so sorry. I don't know no, what's wrong with no. me. No, it's so funny. <laughs> he might be targeted often with little sex in. But he would often... He would be around the man he... Somehow fell in love with. Oh God, we're already there. Yeah, he, they already yeah, said like, I love you. <laughs> oh, really? I, I don't, don't know. remember. I don't know. Like, I mean, literally, we just last last one we read of this. We we literally read a, a you know what scene. <laughs> oh my God, you're I, literally saying the most outrageous. Like you're you're saying the most down bad stuff, and you're like the you know what you know, like you know. I didn't want to say just know. in case, you know. What if, what if I don't need it to <laughs> age or shoot this video? <laughs> Oh. You know? I don't know. Am I... Uh, well, considering some of the stuff you said, <laughs> age six already. Damn. But, um... So, I felt wrong that he would only stay near Mihawk because he was being you. So, I'm just some convenient tool for you, huh? Damn. That's, that's not what I meant. Really? Because... To me, it seems like you're only using me for your own fucking benefits while I sit around risking my very own fucking life. Oh, shit. I said that a little bit too. Damn. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> yeah. Shanks' face began to turn red from anger as he yelled at Mihawk, frustrated by the fact that he was being used. No, please listen to me. People will come for your head just to get me. I don't want you to get hurt because of me. I promise I will protect you with my life, Shanks. Oh, they're I'm so sorry. gay. <laughs> Uh, they love each other so much. Yeah. Mihawk greeted Shanks with a sincerity in his voice, hoping that the red-haired man would stay. It wasn't a lie. Mihawk did want to protect Shanks, since it would be unfair for Shanks to become a target because of him. I'm getting, like, upload notifications from you. What, <laughs> what do you mean? I literally just got a notification like Phoenix Slayer, the dance, Vox X Phoenix. Oh shit. <laughs> that was hours ago. <laughs> well, I just got the notification now. Well, from you YouTube. You should watch that later. <laughs> Shall I try. <laughs> I can't let you <laughs> I can't let uh I can't let you walk away after knowing everything I told you. Oh wait, no, I'm behind. Oop. Oh. <laughs> Looking at that has made me scroll. <laughs> the... Oh. But the part about Mihawk using Shanks wasn't entirely a lie either. It was selfish of him. But it was left with no choice. The world was about survival of the fittest after all. Well, giving Mihawk's request to... For a while. James finally agreed to stick around with him. He wasn't too happy that things had to turn out this way, but at least it meant that Shanks would see Mihawk often. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. 
god, Miha. You sound like the biggest nerd alive. I'm sorry. <laughs> he is my a frat boy. Is bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Are my word choices bothering you? No, no, it's just a little awkward. Well, what do you want me to say then? You know what? Just call me your partner and that'll be all. Oh shoot, that was a nice and short. Yeah. Alright, chapter 8 adventures. Where, where is the set? Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> What, why is there a mature- is it literally just for that beginning thing and they're like, alright, so we're never gonna mention any of that shit ever again. <laughs> just keep going. Okay. okay, maybe we'll get to it. <laughs> we find it. You, 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 <laughs> the way that you said that made it sound like like I was like a child disappointed. I'm like, oh, I'm like, Santa didn't get me the present I wanted. And you're like, oh, may maybe he'll get it for you next year. <laughs> maybe, maybe grandma will have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's a little funny though. Alright, chapter 8. It didn't take long for Shanks to get accustomed to fighting side by side with Mihawk. They worked like one, moving gracefully as they worked from one enemy to another. Their teamwork was unique. It was powerful. They are bound to each other with- as, oh, they were? Yeah? Oh, as they supported each other, watching out with each other's blind sides. Every mo- Every movement was beautiful, like a performance of some sorts. Dancing gracefully with swords in hand, the two swordsmen fought daily, announcing to the world of their existence, of how strong they were, and how gay they are. I mean, of course it didn't take long to get used to Mihawk's vampiric- vamp- yeah, vampire behaviors. Mihawk wasn't too bothered by the sunlight, but he still preferred to work in the moonlight, when many were asleep. He claimed it was to make the job easier for him since he wouldn't have to kill or fight in broad daylight. But Shanks knew it was a different story. He knew that the sunlight restricted Mihawk from fighting at full force. The only real problem with Shanks was that one, Mihawk would go berserk on full moons, which meant that he had to forcibly feed Mihawk his own blood to calm him down. Second, Mihawk was extremely hot when he was bloodthirsty! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Tuck's hair behind ear? I, I mean... <laughs> I mean, kind of smash. <laughs> anyway, where was I? <laughs> he didn't want to admit it, but every time Shanks saw Mihawk with blood drooling down his lips, soaking wet with sweat and blood, it aroused him bad. <laughs> I'm literally like, <laughs> no, 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 keep going, keep going. Like nothing has ever gone wrong. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hold on. He wanted to the, the mic, please. <laughs> He wanted to touch that black-haired man with everything he had. He get away from your mic! <laughs> okay, no. Stop whispering in my ears. <laughs> I'm sorry. He wanted with everything he had. He wanted to know how it felt underneath those wet clothes of his. Whenever Mihawk pulled his hair back and smiled at Shanks, it was as if an arrow struck into his heart. Damn it! He thought to himself, "I've fallen head over heels for this man." Now that they had a bounty and a good reputation on their heads. More dangers came along their way, but that also meant more adventures. Often in the seas, Mihawk went days without blood, because he couldn't absorb nutrients with, from the, the natural sunlight well enough. He felt weak without the proper nutrition, which caused him to faint often. Shanks knew how much it made Mihawk suffer, so he volunteered to allow Mihawk to, to feed on him? <laughs> hey, yeah. At first, Mihawk refused to do it, saying that it was bad for him to feed on his partner. But soon enough, days at the sea made Mihawk too bloodthirsty to do anything. Shanks, of course, didn't mind. It just felt awkward when it was silent during the procedure. Procedure? What is it, like a doctor's office? <laughs> it, it didn't hurt at all, oddly, because it was mainly because- <laughs> Maybe it was because he had a poison effect inside of him that made him feel numb. He felt like a slight ting when the skin was penetrated at first. Ooh. <laughs> Penet <laughs> penetration. <laughs> but soon, <laughs> grew to ignore the pain. <laughs> it was just having your blood drawn at the doctor's appointment, but with a vampire, who happened to be hot and was also your partner. But lately, it was as if Mihawk's bloodthirst was getting worse. He needed more and more blood every day, and it was draining Shanks' energy fast. 
So instead of traveling through the seas, both of them decided it would be best if they land on an island to refuel their supplies and help get Mihawk the blood he needs to survive. They just like kill a bunch of animals and just like carry a bunch of jars of blood. <laughs> oh my god. He's the chupacabra. <laughs> but not everything goes to plan when they when you have a walking disaster as a partner. Chapter 9 just called Hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god. Was this fic complete? Yeah, I guess. I yeah, 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 it is. Okay. Crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Reba, Jamaica. Huh? I don't know. I got that song stuck in my head. <laughs> you would accept. You would expect from someone as intelligent as Nihon, it would cause any big issues and problems while the party was traveling. But oh boy, can you ever be so wrong? <laughs> Jenks, being the only one that could actually calm down the vampire at any given time, never did his job properly. During full moon, Jenks was too busy drowning himself in alcohol that he always forgot how crazy Nihon became. Of course, it all bit him in the ass. Or, yeah. Literally, he got bit in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was a night like any other, but Mio grew tired of having to babysit shakes when it was supposed to be the opposite. He finally snapped, yelling at the red-haired man about how laid back he was. Shanks, you haven't done your goddamn job of controlling me since I- controlling me when I turn, because you never need me to be your knight in shining armor. I mean, all you do is go off and say crap like, I don't need a foolish mortal like you, or you're a fool to believe that you could do anything. Shanks replied back with a sarcastic tone, poorly imitating Mihawk. Cut the bullshit, Shanks. I told you to ignore whatever I said when I turned. Do you know how many innocent creatures I've killed because you weren't doing your job? You know what? Fine. If you're not going to do anything, then I'll do something. Wait, what? What exactly are you going to do? I'm going to travel on my own since you're lazy ass. Clearly can't do a single fucking thing right. <laughs> Mihawk stormed off anger. <laughs> yeah, Mihawk stormed off angrily. He's still stomping hard into the ground with each step that he took. Shank stood there with his jaw wet open, not knowing how to reply back to him. Mine. I guess you don't need me anymore anyways. With sadness in his voice, Shank still back at Mihawk as he disappeared from his view. Shanks mumbled something to himself under his breath, and he kicked the pebble that was next to his feet. Who needed that dumb vampire anyway? He found a crew on his own, start his adventure, and make it to the new world without any help. He was, he was a part of the Pirate King crew, so there's no way people would look down on him, but it still made him feel sad that he couldn't travel with Mihawk anymore. But who needs him anyway? Totally not him, maybe. But now that they were traveling separately, Shanks could do everything he wanted to do before. He could drink all day, he could fight whoever he wanted, he could... Oh, what's the point? He knew he was going to be depressed 90% of the time. <laughs> but just what hell felt like. Wait, is this... Was, wait a minute. This is the next... Was, this is the last chapter of his regret? Is this angst with a sad ending? <laughs> it might be. I'm going to cry. Piss my pants, maybe. <laughs> Be fine. Oh, I'm gonna. Okay, all right. Chapter. Okay, here you go, guys. This is your final chapter. This is this is finally the end of me being down bad. <laughs> okay, maybe separating wasn't a bad idea. But what the hell would that redhead ass do for him? He just stuck around, complaining majority of the time, and he just kept talking and talking nonstop. Not to mention, Mihawk always found that idiot hitting on every person he saw in that bar, just so he could get a free drink off of them. Don't the beast. <laughs> I would do that. <laughs> just having him by his side made him embarrassed. Maybe it would be best for, if they just traveled separately. On the other hand, he wouldn't have to worry about being mad from his curse. He wouldn't have to worry about getting up against someone with a major advantage against him. Deep inside him, Mihawk knew that he made a mistake with leaving Shanks. Yeah, he didn't want to show it, but he liked the company Shanks provided. And even if Shanks never did his job properly, he still came back and offered a hand anyways. Mihawk sat down with one one of the barrels of alcohol lying on his ship, unable to decide whether he should turn back and go talk things out with Shanks or just leave the port. 
He kept talking, telling himself that he didn't need that man to survive. He just needed to be stronger to control himself. But he knew that his heart could not tell lies. Just as much as he hated him in it, he needed him. Oh, wait. He needed him? I and mean, it wasn't just blood that he needed. He needed the partnership that was built with him. Yeah, and he knew that. Anyway. <laughs> he sighed, jumping down to the barrel and walking over to the island. Reputation, honor, it didn't matter when it comes to Shanks. Yeah, he was an idiot who who glared at, at him for no reason at, from time to time. Who wouldn't see that... Who wouldn't see that what it made him so noticeable and didn't do his job properly. But there were times that he saved his stupid vampire ass from dying from lack of blood. And made, he made up his mind. He was going to get his partner back. There better be a proposal. <laughs> I want an engagement party at the end of this. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean ooh? Oh, that doesn't make me oh. feel good about this now. <laughs> You go in. <laughs> I'll explain later. Oh god, okay. <laughs> he didn't get too far in the island when he stopped by approaching marines. He didn't want to make too big of a problem now, so he turned to a more civil way of dealing with people. What can I do for you? Oh, fuck. How do you pronounce his first name? Dracul. Dracul Mihawk. You're under arrest for suspicions of vampiric activities. We are ordered to kill you at... Any signs of resistance? Suspicious of vampire activities? Shit, was he found out? There's no way someone had seen his hidden side, especially when no one- Since anyone that saw him was immediately killed. He had to think of a way to get out of this. Kill him on the spot? There are only ten, as far as he could count, and killing these weaklings would be a matter of seconds. Something stopped him from doing so, and it made him panic. Fuck, something wasn't right. Normally, since it's nighttime, he would feel his vampire side throbbing with power, but now it wasn't any sign of it. In addition to that, he felt weak, as if he was lacking blood. Around him, he found what was wrong. The marines were holding red lilies, the metal that worked against vampires. I did not know that. Cool. <laughs> I thought red lilies were just red lilies. Yeah. Even from their distance, he could feel the effect of the metal working against his body. Maybe it's like, you know, like, devil fruit users are weak against, like, sea prism stone. Uh -huh. It's, it's uh -huh. like that, I guess. <laughs> Shit, they really thought of everything. What now? He can't fight. No, that would be suicidal. If they found out he was a vampire, a superior one at that, he'd be killed right on the spot. Just when he thought his life was ending, he saw a ray of hope in the distance. Even from far away, and we could tell who the redhead idiot with the straw hat was. Okay, it, wait. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, wait. It, it's abandoned work. Are you I'm gonna kill myself. This was abandoned. <laughs> it said it was complete, though. Am I crazy? It, it's complete, but they lost motivation. What? So that is all we have. <laughs> Listen, I love my dad's, but I gotta admit, Overwatch has been taking me under and it was an update. <sighs> I'm very sorry. I didn't know. All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what that means. Well, you know what? You know what? No, 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 no. You know what my headcanon is now? Because this work is unfinished. They had they they lived off an island as a happy married couple, and they had raunchy sex. All right, that's my headcanon. <laughs> <laughs> The way you like whisper mumbled that is so funny. <laughs> that's that's my head cannon of how this book. That is your head cannon. Yeah. Well, look, open that's my ended. Ended. They you see that happens. Yeah. I like to think that Shanks beat up all the Marines, killed them all, you know, and then went, you know, got rid of all that stuff. Yeah, they the apologized. The anti-vampire stuff. Yeah. And they live with the uh, vampires in harmony, and um. And that thing you said. Yeah. Oh wait, I got. Oh wait, I got it. Shanks comes around. He beats up the Marines. Uh -huh. They apologize uh -huh, and have a heart uh -huh. to heart. They have a raunchy makeout session. They go back uh -huh. to the boat. They have the sex. That's what he was raunchy. <laughs> I don't know. It's my new favorite word. You know how like I have a I new wanna... like a new meme that I say every every month. Uh... <laughs> like, that's yeah. my new word. No, my new meme is now. 
Oh god. That we're going back in time to the first Thanksgiving to get turkeys off the menu. That's right. We're going back in time. And I can't stop. It, it's not even November. It doesn't make sense. I don't know why my brain does things. I don't know either. Yeah. Please tell me you know what I'm referencing. I'm gonna send you the video after this, and that's why I'm gonna nah. <laughs> sending you the video is really funny. Cause the way this man hypes up the movie too, I'm like, damn, now I wanna go see this movie again. <laughs> Alright, you know what time it is? It is time for real. Wheel time. It's fuck it's, it's wheel time. Alright, let me fucking uh real quick. <laughs> we don't need that shit anymore. <laughs> Alright, what are you hoping for? <laughs> I'm not hoping for anything. My brain is blank. Uh. Excuse me! <gasps> that Ouija! We haven't seen that one in a while! Oh my god. I've been so tempted to read that lately, not gonna lie. It's been like, <laughs> I have the tab open, <laughs> and then I also have the Wattpad version. And it's like, hmm. Yeah, you're like, say the box now! Say the box now! <laughs> I just, I just, I've been reading a lot of, I've been rereading a lot of my bookmark mm. lately, so. Good for you. Good for, good for yeah. you. you a little reading prodigy over here. <laughs> oh, I owe you. Alright, good for me. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Good for you. No, go ahead. What were you gonna say? Oh. I I was kind of hoping for Waluigiism, for we get finished. <gasps> We've been on a roll with finishing things off. Yeah. Well, we finished off the Corazon. We we have finished off the 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 Shanks and Nihawk, and it would have been nice to finish a third thing. What if I edit the documents that <laughs> we can read Waluigi? <laughs> What do you mean, edit the document? Yeah, I, I just like, I, I do a separate recording of me spinning the wheel and landing on Waluigiism, and I just, we gaslight everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we gaslight everyone? Yeah. Are you recording this part? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that and that's how it's so even funny. more, like, g gaslighting, you know? Yeah. <laughs> We didn't- what do you mean? You didn't record this. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, actually, you're right, I'm not even recording right now, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm kind of glad I don't have to age restrict this video, so I, I guess... I guess that makes me kind of happy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to do that shit. <laughs> Alright, well, do you have any final thoughts? What are, what is your- what are your final thoughts of this? This of unfinished no. fic? <laughs> I don't have any final thoughts. You know, they didn't, they didn't, or they weren't motivated for this fic anymore. I'd rather them, you know, cut the fic off than uh, be oh unhappy gosh. writing. Yeah. You know. That's a good point. But I do like where they cut it off. Mhm. Mm it really just lets you add your own little pizzazz in your brain. Yeah. You can make up because look at us. We were like. Yeah, we were just making up things yeah. <laughs> that, you know, they beat up the marines and then they live happily ever after. Yeah, and then they have raunchy sex. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, the last Wattpad book club reading that I did with a guest is on screen now, including a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings that I've done in the past. So if you're interested in all that shit, go check it out. And then thank you again, Jolene, for joining. I really appreciate you being a team player. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.